I'm not talking about some wishy-washy fantasy type thing. I'm literally talking about accepting yourself, forgiving yourself, knowing who the hell you are, like knowing what you like, knowing what you don't like, knowing what you want. Hey, it's Anna. So self-love, this video is about I'm in such a weird mood today, okay, so please forgive me. I just, like, spilt loads of water over my eyeshadows. I've already filmed a video today. It's a fucking weird day. But anyway, we're going to do this. We're going to get into this video and talk about self-love. Because I feel like I could talk for 20 million years about self-love. Because love is what we are. Like, love is us. Love is who you are. Love is something that you feel all the time. Love is something that we crave all the time, that we want to feel in connections, even like not just romantic connections, but with family, with friends, towards a goal or career or something that you're passionate about. Like everything that we do revolves around love. It's always love that we want to feel. So love is literally what you are. Like that's what your soul, your spirit, your like your heart, it's all to do with love. And so what is self-love? It's literally you expressing who you are, expressing yourself, your true nature, your true essence, your heart is expressing that to yourself. Because we always express it to other people, we always give to other people, we always, like we extend ourselves to others when we're not even full ourselves. So we're running on empty, trying to give to other people. And for some reason, we don't really give to ourselves. Like, we find it harder to give to ourselves. But again, I kind of feel like that is an external, like, programmed belief type thing. Like, it's another fear-based programming that makes us feel like we're obligated to give all of ourselves over to somebody else, no matter what we're going through ourselves, you know? Like, you're obligated to run on empty and make sure that that person is okay like literally sacrifice yourself for somebody else and that's not true and it's not something that I want to live by anymore and like if you're struggling with self-love or you're struggling with even just feeling good and feeling happy then maybe that's something that you want to look at is like how much you extend yourself to other people at the sake of yourself, like at the expense of yourself. I can't even get a fucking phrase out. <laughs> Honestly, today is such a weird mood. But anyway, so yeah, self-love is literally like pouring that energy that you would give to a partner or to somebody else and pouring it into yourself. And like, it's not even something that you do. Everything is made to believe like it's an action that you have to take, like it's a physical thing, but it's not. Like, when you give love to somebody else, it can be through so many different mediums of, like, it could be affirmation, it could be gifts, it could be, like, physical attention, but then it could be mental stimulation. It could literally just be listening to somebody else's problems. So, like, all of these are ways to show love and ways to give love, but yet, when you think about doing that kind of thing for yourself, it feels weird, and it sounds weird, and you're like what the hell does that even mean but literally to give yourself love is to be kind to yourself like to speak to yourself better to treat yourself as if you were your romantic partner or as if you were your child to literally have that same care and attention and affection and kindness and compassion but towards yourself because it's yourself that you talk to the most. It's yourself that you're with 24 seven. So that's why it's key. Like it literally shapes how you then interact with other people. So if you're on empty, if you're running on empty and you're exhausted, then the way that you give love to somebody is gonna be way less like free, way less inspired, way less fun than if you were full yourself, than if you were feeling fun and inspired and love for yourself you know it's kind of the same as my last video actually talking about motivation and inspiration it's like you can't give it to somebody else you can't take it from somebody else until you feel it inside you and you can feel it inside you in any moment but it's through yourself it's through your own thoughts it's through your own mind and not what somebody else can give to you you know 
so and I feel like when you're full like that you literally want to give love to other people because you feel it so much inside of you that it just pours out of you in the way that you carry yourself in the kindness that you express to other people naturally even to like strangers walking down the street you can just tell when somebody is confident but not confident in like an arrogant way but confident in like they're just high on life, like they just know who they are, they're just embracing who they are, they've accepted who they are, and they love themselves. So you can kind of feel that energy from somebody when you meet them, you just know because they're, the way that they approach you, the way that they give love to you, you can, you can feel it, you know? And it's literally because they give it to themselves. So that hair is really annoying me. So love is not separate, it's not something that we need to chase and find and it can often feel like we're lacking in love because we're not with somebody or like because you're single, it can feel like you're lacking in love but really you are love, you literally are love, you can tap into that emotion, you can tap into that feeling and into that knowing any time you want because it's just in your heart, it's just a part of you, it's a part of who you are but it's about seeing it, it's about literally hearing your thoughts everything is always about hearing your thoughts and then shifting it to where you want it to go so yeah I feel like self-love is I mean I've said this before but self-love really is the foundation to your experience and I know that like the the phrase self-love sounds really cliche and like commercialized and really almost stupid and like annoying but like I'm not talking about something that you need to go and do. I'm not talking about some wishy-washy fantasy type thing. I'm literally talking about accepting yourself, forgiving yourself, knowing who the hell you are, like knowing what you like, knowing what you don't like, knowing what you want. All of that is a part of self-love. It's not just about like hugging yourself or some shit. It literally is about knowing who you are and accepting who you are. Because we're all going to have flaws. We're always going to have things that we want to change and things that we can improve on but you still need to know who that is and what that is in order to improve on it you know so it's like self-awareness and then loving everything that you find including the negative loving all of it because the negative is what makes you you the balance of the positive and the negative like it's duality we need both we always need both so having all of those aspects of yourself makes up who you are and when you then accept them then there's nothing that anybody can say or do that will make you feel any type of way because you're fully aware of the thing that they're even going to mention like you know what it is before they even say it because you've already uncovered all of your flaws you already know all of them so there's literally nothing anybody can say that will shift you out of who you are because you're well aware of like the silly things that you do and the things that you want to change you know so literally self-love is the key and it like shapes how you treat other people it shapes how you carry yourself it shapes the belief that you have in yourself you know but all of it is literally a mental perception like self-love literally is a mental perception it's how you view yourself that's all it is it's not like a romantic weird thing it's it's literally how you view yourself how you feel about yourself that is self-love and the only way to change that is to become aware of your thoughts to become the, the the only way to change that is to become aware of your thoughts and to become aware of the story that you tell yourself because once you know what that story is then you can shift it to the loving kind compassionate story that you want it to be so it literally it's always about the damn mind I swear and that is why these videos are called mind cleared I feel like there's videos all over the place but I don't know so I think I kind of covered everything I don't even know if I covered everything so I will probably watch this back and then be like okay I need to make a video on this other part that I missed out but this is just to like lay the foundation of what self-love is and like it really is just a daily practice of all of the things that you uncover like changing your beliefs changing your thoughts because they're the things that affect how we behave so once you become aware of all of these things then you'll naturally start to shift them and that will then naturally start to shift the 
your behavior like it's nothing that you need to force it just naturally happens the more you become aware of it because when you become aware of negative things we always want to change it like if you become aware of something that you don't like about yourself you instantly want to change it whether that's through like surgery or like external things physically being able to change it or whether it's mentally we always want to fix things you know so once you start to get the awareness, you'll naturally start to change things one at a time and it's a gradual process. So self-love is just a shift in perception. And that can sound very, very simple and very like, okay, but how do I do that? But like nobody can do it for you. So it literally is just about your mind. It's about changing your perception. It's about understanding where your perception is right now and then shifting it to where you want it to be through continuous affirmation, continuous speaking it, continuous thinking it, continuously like being aware of the thoughts and then changing them to the one that you do want. And that's a daily, daily practice, daily habit, daily routine. And it turns into habits, you know? And meditation also will help with that because it quietens, is that a word, quietens? It quiets, I don't know if that's a word, it quiets the mind and stops it from like going so crazy with the full story that you don't want to feel. So meditation will like calm that a little bit, especially if you focus on breathing, it kind of calms the kinda, it does calm the mind and stops that story from spiraling and being really negative and then putting you in like a really low space. So definitely like when you feel that story come in, sometimes it's a good idea to just stop everything that you're doing and just like focus on your breathing and like deep breathing and count your breaths and everything. And then the voice will calm down so then you don't attach to it so much with such fear. And then when that calms down, then you can start to gradually like try and think things that you want to think and affirm things that you want to feel and affir affirm things that you want to believe. So yeah, everything just is a daily practice. I think I might do a video on meditation actually, because it's really powerful. And I'm realizing more and more how powerful affirmations are because before I was feeling like they're just a bit like, Ugh they don't really work but now I'm realizing actually it does work but you need the awareness first you can't start affirming things without having the awareness of what it is that you believe already that like you need to know all of the root cause not just what you believe but why you believe it like if you're just affirming things but you're not having a clue about like the self-hate that you have then you're never going to start to believe the affirmation so the affirmation won't work once you uncover all of the negative beliefs that you have, why you have them, where they stem from, then when you start to affirm new things, you know why you're trying to affirm it, like you know why you want to believe the new one and you're more likely to keep going and then gradually believe it and gradually like it will become a habit and it will shift your thoughts naturally where you automatically affirm that like the story switches and you automatically say the positive thing without even consciously choosing to, if that makes sense. So yeah, this video was definitely all over the place because I'm in such a weird mood. I don't even know what's going on, but I'm gonna do another video and if this one's shit, then it won't go up. <laughs> so we will see, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. I need a man that will hold me down if he